Watson, tell the people what we're doing. You wanna tell them? Oh! Well, hello, beautiful people. So, today I wanted to start a new reading vlog, kind of as a part two to my trying manga for the first time video. I had so many people, I am so grateful, I had so many people recommend some amazing sounding titles, things that I've never heard of before and they really sold them to me. I mean, it doesn't take much to sell me a book if I'm being honest, just like put it in my face and I'm like sold, but you really, you guys did a great job, okay? So I bought a couple of things. I have a new pile, a new possibility pile here for today that Watson and I are excited to read. Are you excited, Watson? Yes, he's wagging his tail. Um, I had a lot. I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna start with a big one, okay? I'm gonna start with the big one. I had literally every single human being on the planet tell me to read One Piece. Don't worry, I already owned it. I'm I'm gonna read it. So we're gonna start with this today, I'm, I think. So this is the Omnibus Edition, so I have volumes one through three. This, from what I understand, okay? From what I understand, I could be wrong, I haven't read it yet, I don't really know, but it's about this kid who wants to be a pirate. He's like searching for a treasure and he like, and he can't be a pirate because something, he ate something and now he's like rubber. He's rubber so he can't swim or something like that. But anyways, he, he's going on a pirate adventure and he meets a, bun a bunch of people. He's looking for a treasure to become the, the, the king of the pirates. That sounds good, Watson, yeah? Okay, so everyone loves One Piece. I think there's like a couple hundred volumes of that out, which is stressful. I also had a lot of people tell me not to read One Piece, just to keep it completely real, because they're like, wow, that's a lot of volumes, it's really expensive, and I'm like, I'm just gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna dip my toes in the water and see what's up. Then we had a few people recommend Monster. I showed this last time and I just, wow. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at it. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. This is about about a doctor who's a surgeon and he's like doing his job and then he's like gonna go into a surgery, an important person in the government and the hospital's like, yes, do that. And then like a kid comes in and he's like, no, I'm not gonna do the rich guy's surgery because this kid is about to die and I wanna save the kid. And then the kid grows up to be a serial killer and it's about that. That sounds so good, okay. Oh, this feels really good on my back. Ooh. We have these, we have these four left. Um, so we have To Your Eternity, beautiful. I'm probably most excited to read this one personally just because I had never heard of it before and it sounds like something that I personally would really like. It sounds kind of niche. It's about an orb that falls from the sky and like transforms into things and then transforms into a wolf and then the wolf bonds with a boy. I think, I think that's what it's about and I just, ooh, ooh, sounds so good. Okay. Yona of the Dawn, which I've been seeing more and more and more ever since I saw this recommended in the comments on my last manga video. But I think this is about a girl who's like a diva She's a princess, okay? She is a princess. Her kingdom comes under attack and she needs to be saved and she runs off with the guard to like save the future of her kingdom. And I'm assuming they fall in love, they should, okay? Adventure. And then we have Hunter and Hunter, or I think it's just called Hunter Hunter, I think I was corrected. Ooh, look at this cover, look at this cover. They're like training to become hunters of magical artifacts. That's what I want to do. That is what I want to do. If magic existed in the real world, actually magic probably does exist in the real world. You know, it's like human connection, magic. Do you ever feel that energy exchange? That's magic. We've just become so immune to it because it's around us all the time. That's what I believe. But if like magic magic existed in this world, this is what I would want to do. I would want to hunt magical artifacts. Are you joking? That sounds like so much fun. And then last but not least, we have, I had one person sit, like mention this to me. And again, I had never previously heard of this and it sounded really good. They really sold it to me. The Far Away Paladin. I forget what this is about, so I'll read the back to you, but it just looks like magical. So in a city of the dead, yeah, I would buy it again if I just read that one sentence. In a city of the dead, Long since ruined and far from human civilization lives a single human child. His name is Will and he's being raised by three undead. Not a fan of zombies, 
It's kind of giving me zombie vibes, but there you go. The three pour love into the boy, cute, and teach him all they know. But one day, Will starts to wonder, who am I? I don't know Will, but I hope we find out together. Will must unravel the mysteries of this faraway land and unearth the secret pasts of the undead. He must learn the love and mercy of the good gods and the bigotry and madness of the bad. And when he knows it all, the boy will take his first step on the path to becoming a paladin. Shit. Fuck. Ah! Yay! So the first thing I'm gonna do is go get coffee, and then we are going to start One Piece. Wake up to p.m. I don't know where we are. Looks like a cheap motel with our clothes on the floor. I don't know how we ended up here. And we've been flying. We going too far, I got no cash left And I'm losing my job over you But I don't care about that Okay, so I finished volume one I like it, I really do like it Do I ardently love it? Not necessarily, but I could see it potentially growing into something I mean, it's the first volume in a very many volumed series So... I could see it growing. So I'm gonna start volume two. I guess I should say like themes that I really, or like the themes that I noticed while I was reading. I thought it was really cool. Like it's all about following your dreams, you know, believing in yourself, following, following your dreams, having courage, being brave, and that the people who initially appear as good guys are not always good guys and people who initially maybe appear as the bad guys are not always bad guys. Very fun. So yes, I'm going to continue. I'm kind of hungry so I might get something to eat, but yeah. But I got you close and kind of hoping that one day we'll get the rhythm of it. Yeah, cause no one knows if we're just jumping out the window trying to cling up to it. You got me holding on to something I know I can burn me down. But I don't care about it. Cause I got you close and kind of hoping that one day we'll get the rhythm of it. Get the rhythm of it. Get the rhythm of it. I've been chasing you like the tail of a dog. I don't get no sleep when we kiss in the dark like we do. I just love the way it feels. Yeah, I know it's bad, but I can't resist. When I look in your eyes, I don't know what is real. All I know is that I could go anywhere, anywhere. As long as you're with me. Oh, I'm drunk and I know it, but. But I got you close and kind of hoping that one day we'll get So currently editing this video and I lost a clip and I don't speak technology so I don't understand how to fix it so here I am. I was basically sitting in my car in the parking lot saying I'm at Barnes & Noble. Glorious. Because yeah, it's glorious. And I was looking for Spy Family Volume 3 um, because I hadn't been able to find it and... Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I had finished the next two volumes of One Piece and I ended up giving each individual volume, I'd say probably like three stars. So in totality, three stars. I liked it. It's not changing my life or it hadn't changed my life. Watson is crying if you can hear him. But I liked it. Didn't love love it, but liked it. Will continue because a lot of people said to read to the 10th volume to decide. So I will honor that. But I did like it. It's not like I'm, I disliked it in any way. So a lot of the second and third volume were about different, what treasure means um, and different people's individual treasures, like things in their life that they find really important and are willing to risk everything for. So I thought that that was really cute, very adventurous, um, but that's that.
Okay, so back from Barnes & Noble and they did have Volume 3 of Spy Family. I almost got Volume 3 and Volume 4, but then I didn't because I wanted to limit my purchases and I needed this. So I got these two things at Barnes & Noble, but I had a really nice time. I wasn't in there too long. I had a really nice time just kind of browsing and walking around and I felt like I needed this. So this is Jeanette Winterson's Weight. Um, and then this is a part of the Canongate Myth series. So the Penelope ad by Margaret Atwood is a part of it, I believe, which I did read. And I don't know if it's a, a large collection. Girl Meets Boy by Ali Smith. That's one of the best things I've ever read. David Grossman and Philip Pullman have books, a part of this series as well. And then there's Karen Armstrong's A Short History of Myth, which I do own. Haven't read it yet, but this, this is about Atlas. Was he a titan or a god? I'm not quite sure. Condemned to shoulder the world forever by the gods he dared defy, freedom seems unattainable to Atlas, but then he receives an unexpected visit from Heracles, the one man strong enough to share the burden. So I'm really excited to read this. I have recently been listening to on audio Mythos by Stephen Fry, and I love it. Oh my gosh, I really wanted to read this because Atlas has obviously been mentioned in that. So yeah, I got that. Okay, what do I want to read next to your eternity? I will update you when I know more. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So I finished To Your Eternity and, oops, backwards. This was weird. I don't even know how to explain this. This was weird. I don't understand what I read. So, yes. You know, the whole thing about the orb, it was a rock, then it was moss, then it was a wolf, and then it met this boy that like lived alone in the middle of nowhere in like the Arctic. I think the wolf bonded with the boy and then the boy died and the boy was super lonely and it was sad like this was weird and sad you know mm. and not in, like a good sad it was like a it was it was just weird then the wolf becomes the boy that has like regenerative powers so the boy's body dies or like it's a, eaten and then it like will regenerate after a few days and like continue on and the whole point of the boy like the boy has it doesn't act like a human because it's an orb so it like can't talk and it doesn't know how to eat its goal is to basically like have new experiences and like it wants to meet people I think and it eventually, then we stumble upon like a village that's trying to sacrifice a little girl. Then we get here from the perspective of the little girl. Then it's about that. And then the girl like meets the boy, the orb boy. He likes it, like saves her from being sacrificed essentially. Did it, f I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it, so. <laughs> That's that. What shall I read next? I'm hungry again. I'm hungry again. I want pasta. So that's what I want to eat. But what should I read next? I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. Six thirty in the morning, you wake me up to have a conversation and inform me about I will make you feel inside You keep talking and I'm listening But could you try to shut up? I'm almost getting dizzy now From the way you bum me out I know that you wanted me to be someone I'm not Give you all my love and never mess it up But I won't be pretending that I have some hidden love for you, baby, I'm done, I'm just done Because I'm way Okay, so I finished Hunter Hunter And this was great This was great, 
Four Stars, fantastic. We'll be continuing. I already have the second volume, but I really like this. So we followed our main character named Gon, I think his name. You know what? Names elude me, okay? Names always elude me. It is what it is. I think his name is Gon. We're gonna go with that. And I'm sure it says it on the- Yeah, I was right, Gon. He's 12 and they live in a world where there are magical hunters that are like a big freaking deal. And he wants to be a hunter. He lives with his aunt. Apparently he's never met his dad, but apparently his father. He meets somebody that tells him his father is one of the most famous hunters in all of the land. And he goes, oh my God, I need to be a hunter. So basically he goes off, he leaves his hometown and he wants to go through the trial to become a hunter which is like really difficult so this is all about getting to the trial and how it like the trial starts phase one of the trial has already begun and they didn't even know and then they know and then they're going through all these like tests and then they get to the trial and they meet people along the way and it's just great and there's just like magical creatures and riddles kind of i don't know it just did it for me it did it for me and I like the concept. So that's that. It is deliciously cold outside. Do I know the exact temperature? No, I don't. But I feel cold. I feel cold. I feel good. I feel, ooh, this is great. So I think I'm going to take a shower and put big fat sweats on. And then I'm going to pick up the next manga volume that I want to read. And I'm looking at them right now. What should I read? Next, so we have three left, you guys. I'm gonna pick up Monster. I was really debating it being Yona of the Dawn, but we are gonna go with Monster because this has to be read in this video because I feel like this was the second most recommended manga series in my first manga video. I'm really excited to read it. And you know those things that you're just like, you really wanna like, so you put off reading them because you're afraid you're gonna be disappointed. And in life too, man. The things that you are most afraid of are the things that you should run towards the fastest. Okay? That frightens me thinking about it, but we should. So I'm gonna pick this one up. It's big. It's big, meaty, juicy, mm, yum. We love it. Okay, never mind, sorry. <laughs> gonna shower. Passive aggressive for you, babe. I know that I can be too. But I won't feel like you do, babe You know I'm sorry I shouldn't talk about mistakes It's not like you'll get a retake I'll never feel like you do, babe Even if I try to Even if I try to Even if I try to morning today's been beautiful Ooh, it was just yay okay great day what did i do i woke up i worked out spin and yoga delightful went to work went to the beach because it's a short work day went to the beach went to a spirit halloween store how long has it been since i've been to a spirit halloween store a very long ass time it doesn't smell too good in there i'm not gonna lie not a fan. They should get some candles or something like sp ooh, spooky candles with the smoke. You know what I mean? I don't know. A little bit of air fresheners. They were literally selling COVID masks, you know, like masks, like those, you know, masks individually packaged for three fucking dollars. Are people buying those is my question. Spirit. How many costumes did I buy? Three. Well, technically four because I did buy my sister's costume. Will I be showing you? No, I won't. But what I did do is read a little bit of Monster by Naoki Urasawa. Yes, I did read a little bit of this. I started this last, well, I started this last night and I got distracted by something. And yeah, didn't read too much. Read a little bit at the beach, as I'm sure you saw. But I 
am really liking this. I think I'm just gonna finish this and then close out the vlog. But this is like, doesn't read like a manga. This reads like a novel. This reads like a little bit historical or a little bit crime novel. Like it feels very rich, very immersive. I'm, I'm very surprised and I really like the art style. I really like the art style. I really like the moral kind of dilemma going on in the doctor's mind. I like how there's some colored pages kind of kind of interspersed throughout the black and the white. Yeah, this is really good. This is this is, feels very like mature. And I'm here for it. I'm not going to hell. Think I would do well for myself. Because I'm right to passive aggressive for you. Exhausted. I'm like a level 9.2. Tired. I've crashed, but I feel good. It's like, ooh, yay, but tired, you know? So I have not finished Monster, but I wanted to close out this vlog because I want to start editing this video. It's been about 24 ish hours, so there you go. I'm really liking this. Like I was saying earlier, I'm really liking this so far. We follow Dr. Tenma who's from Japan, but he's living in Germany. And he's working as a neurosurgeon in this hospital. And he came to Germany because he really respected this man who is now the director of that hospital. Dr. Tenma is dating his daughter and she's just in it for the status, you know? And he's a good guy. A little boy comes in one day because he has a gunshot wound to the head and he's like, I need to save this little boy. And the director's like, no, you need to save the mayor because he's rich and he'll give us money. And Dr. Tenma's like, no, not going to do that. Good for him. And he saves the little boy. And then his career is ruined because he doesn't listen to the director. Drama. And then the boy grows up to be a murderer, basically killing everyone that ruined Dr. Tenma's life or his career or whatever. Very fascinating so far. Like I was saying, it reads very mature. It's probably the most, I was gonna say unique, but it reads so differently from any of the other manga, which is a small group, mind you. Um, but it reads so differently from any of the other manga that I've read now in my life. It reads like a novel. It's great, it's really good. I did not start these two you know, of the Dawn and the Faraway Paladin in this video, but I will be reading these probably this week. We'll see what's up. And I did finish these. I f oh my goodness, my goodness gracious. I finished these in this video. So One Piece volume one through three, but I kind of count this as one thing. And then Hunter Hunter volume one, beautiful cover, and To Your Eternity, which was just what it was, you know? I respect your vibe. I thought it would be mine, and it went a little iffy there. Okay, live your best life. I will not be with you as you continue on, okay? So that's to your eternity. If I had to rank them in order of preference, okay, this is gonna be at the bottom. Oh my goodness, can I keep it together? No, I can't. So this is gonna be at the bottom. One piece is gonna be in the middle, and then Hunter Hunter is probably gonna be on the top. So four stars, three star, not gonna give this a star rating, okay? Because honestly, I'm not mad at you. Like you, I'm not mad at you. I just didn't, I just didn't get you. I just didn't get you. Be blessed, be blessed off on your own, okay? And then Monster probably, I have a feeling this is probably gonna be my favorite of the bunch. Um, so just imagine it like this, but I don't, I don't know. Can't say, I haven't finished it yet. So that is that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful evening, morning, afternoon, wherever the sun is in your sky. What, what am I even saying? Oh my gosh, this is the worst part. I'm just gonna say bye. Just, it's basically just like, thanks, bye. Okay, bye.